Welcome to the Maya Star YouTube channel. Today's article is titled Ancient Norse Runes Symbols for Healing, Magic, and Spiritual Development. This article will look at the way symbols become imbued with meaning and magic. We will consider how we might use them and connect with them to affect healing, pursue our spiritual growth, and integrate our real life experiences too. We will look at magical and attunement opportunities for those feeling the call to connect more deeply with the ancient and powerful runes of the Norse tradition. On this channel I share my week ahead mystical musings for the collective and articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. If you like what you find here, please subscribe and share this page with your friends. One good deed deserves another, so because your engagement really helps me out. If you like, share, subscribe or comment today, I hope and intend that bountiful blessings will be brought to bear in all areas of your life this week. May brilliance, beauty and abundance abound. And now, let's explore. Ancient Norse Runes Symbols for Healing, Magic and Spiritual Development A Maya Star Energy Healing Article there are 24 runes that form the Elder Fudark, or alphabet, of the traditional Norse system. They are usually divided into three sets of eight runes, the first of which is attributed to the goddess Freya because it starts with the Fehu rune, which means cattle, and which embodies qualities that align with her. The second date are considered those belonging to Hel, the goddess of the underworld, because the first rune of that set is Hagalas, which means hail, and is sacred to the goddess Hel. And the final set belong to Tyr, the sky god, because the first rune of that set is Tewaz which means pole star, and the powers of this rune connect it to the nature of the god Tyr. Each rune represents a powerful spiritual force that expresses an aspect of universal energy. A symbol is something that stands for a particular quality rather than necessarily embodying it entirely. For example, with the runes discussed above, Behu means cattle because cattle refer to wealth. Before bank accounts and credit cards, holding your wealth in cattle meant you had something to trade, something to eat and something to fertilise your crops. So the symbol of the rune triggers the memory that it means cattle and if you've studied the runes and their meanings, you can then draw on your knowledge and experience to express its further meanings. For example, when you meditate on this rune, you might start by considering how wealth and prosperity were tied to cattle historically. Then reflect on the ways wealth and prosperity are expressed in modern times. And finally, look at the ways wealth and prosperity are expressed in your own life. Symbols are universal but can only be interpreted subjectively. What you bring to the mix will be your own unique configuration, based on your own unique experience and understanding. Regularly working with a magical system like the runes, tarot or kabbalah 
can create an energetic construct that you use as a way to interpret your real life experiences, spiritual experiences and interactions with subtle energetic forces that are otherwise difficult to define. Over the years, this can build into a powerful magical tool. The unique qualities of sacred spiritual symbols can be accessed through a variety of energy healing modalities, but the runes have a long tradition and, over the centuries, have built up layers of meaning, built by thousands or maybe millions of people and their own experiences of the runes and the energies they represent. Because of this long tradition, the runes can be easier to work with for some people, especially once they've put in the groundwork by studying and memorizing and meditating on all of the runes over a period of time. An example of how this might work means returning to the Fehu rune. A person new to runes reads that it means cattle. They read about the connection with the goddess Freya and the associations with wealth and prosperity. Perhaps they read some books about mythology that further embellish the rune in their experience. And perhaps they build up new associations by thinking about how their job, motivation and ability to earn a wage might be reflected in the Fehu rune. Over the months and years they will gain more experience of financial affairs and other things might become associated with the rune Fehu for them. For example, they might start a business or learn about the law of attraction. They might buy a house and take out a mortgage. They might decide to leave their job and apply for a new one. And all the time, the energetic structure of the runes gives them a way to objectively consider their personal experiences, while the runes gain greater meaning and magic in their lives. There's no way to rush that process, but there are ways to get started with the runes by exploring their magical and healing qualities. The rune Valda course, which means rune power, connects you with the source energy that's expressed through the runes and teaches you some techniques for using them in your spiritual practice. You can learn to use the runes for protection, healing and personal empowerment through this attunement. And this can get you started on a lifetime's exploration of the runic archetypes. As a devoted High Priestess of the Northern Tradition, I work regularly and extensively with the runes in my personal magical work, as well as in the magical work I carry out for others through Maya Magical. Currently, there are Tantric Shamanic rituals with Divinity Assumption Channeling options. For the Valkyrie Warrior Heart Power and Protection ritual, Odin, Magical Initiation and Wisdom Ritual, Aimdor, Revelation and Illumination Ritual, and the Loki, Catalyst of Change Ritual. And at the time of writing, two new Tantric Shamanic Rituals, the connection to Freya and Hell, are in development. Additionally, I've had the great honour of completing a tailored 24-day magical intensive for clients seeking deeper connection and personal initiation into the runes through the Yggdrasil intensive. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. 
If you have any requests for future Myastar articles, please let me know in the comment section below. I upload new week ahead spiritual guidance tarot readings for the collective and new energy healing articles every week. So please come back soon. With blessings.